Hello dear viewers, I am Khan Bahadur, Assistant Professor of Statistics and you are watching a video from my YouTube channel Statistics by Khan. Dear viewers, I hope all of you will be doing great. Dear viewers, this YouTube channel Statistics by Khan has been created for basic statistics with a view to help the beginner students of statistics, the researchers of all fields and other learners of basic statistics. I have also a Facebook page and group with the same name Statistics by Khan. You can visit them for steps related to basic statistics. Dear viewers, for better understanding of concepts in my video, I would recommend you to watch the full video. After watching the full video, I assure you, you will understand the concepts very clearly. Dear viewers, today's lecture is about the population arithmetic mean and sample arithmetic mean. Uh, there is no numerical difference between uh, population arithmetic mean and sample arithmetic mean. But there is a slight uh, analytical or algebraic difference between uh, sample arithmetic mean and population arithmetic mean. So uh, in today's lecture, we will discuss the differences between the population arithmetic mean and the sample arithmetic mean. So let's start the lecture. By definition, population arithmetic mean. So if you focus on the terms involved in this uh, name population arithmetic mean. So automatically one can guess that what does it mean? It means that arithmetic mean calculated from population data. In population data, it has already been discussed. And uh, again, let me explain it. So our population is what all the units of interest, all those units about which we want to know something. So uh, all those units are called population. And uh, if we select some of the units from that population, then that is called uh, sample. So what is the population arithmetic mean? Uh, in arithmetic mean that has been calculated from the um, population data, then that is called population arithmetic mean. Uh, I think I don't need to write it uh, over here because it's already a value session and uh, it's already been recorded. So I think uh, I don't need to write uh, this uh, uh, eng uh, English uh, description over here. Okay, uh, population arithmetic mean. Uh, we denote population arithmetic mean by mu. And we define it by this algebraic expression summation. Uh, this is a Greek letter capital sigma. Its name is capital sigma. But in statistics, it's uh, used as uh, summation, adding, totally. So its name is sigma, capital sigma, Greek letter. But, uh, but its function is of summation, of adding, of totaling. So, uh, don't get confused in uh, these two, uh, the its name and its function. Its name is sigma, while its function is summation, addition, or totaling. So this is summation. Summation, i is equal to from one to capital N. And population case, uh, we start from one, but we uh, go up to capital N. So do remember in population case, uh, this upper, uh, you may say, superscript would be capital N. Summation xi, if the variable is x, so we denote it by xi. This i is uh, in, sub in subscript. So this is xi and divided by capital N. So this is the formula for the population arithmetic mean. As we have discussed in the first uh, lecture, uh, if we have uh, n observations, general observation x1, x2, x3 and so on up to xn. And we are going to compute the arithmetic mean from these general n observations. So uh, we have written uh, this and their expanded form x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus and so on up to xn. But right now over here this is a compact form. So uh, the, uh, this is the compact form of writing x1 plus x2. Uh, what do I mean? I mean this is an alternative form of writing this. x1 plus x2 plus and so on 
up to x n n divided by n so this is what i mean this form is the alternative form of this so this is the compact form and this is the expanded form so this is the formula for the population arithmetic mean now let me write the uh, sample arithmetic mean so again if we focus upon these three terms so sample arithmetic mean it's very much simple then sample arithmetic mean in arithmetic mean that has been calculated from sample data is called sample arithmetic mean so uh, this is arithmetic mean now let me write its formula is uh, the uh, values or the general observations have been denoted by x x1 x2 xn so uh, in the light of this i will denote or generally it's been denoted uh, in statistics by the same variable and a bar upon that variable name so the variable is x and its values are x1 x2 xn so i will denote this sample mean by x bar if i had denoted this by y1 y2 y3 uh, and so on up to, up to yn so then i could use y and then i could use y and a bar upon it but over here i have used x so uh, uh, i will use x bar over here rather than y but this is just to let you know that this is not the only restriction that you will use x you can use any uh, alphabet x y z w and so on so this is x bar so what are the differences again i will use this compact form summation i taking value from one but over here it was capital n in over here now it will be small n x i divided by small n so this is the compact form of writing the formula uh, that is x1 plus x2 plus x3 and so on up to xn but in this case as over here this is capital n so in this uh, sample case it will be small n so uh, and as i have divided uh, this uh, uh, summation xi by capital n in the population case so in sample case summation x i i will i will divide it by small n so these are algebraic differences in the population arithmetic mean in the sample arithmetic mean and there is no uh, as such differences uh, in its uh, numerical computation um, for example if i if i'm going to compute the population arithmetic mean from a data let me take few observations for example this is a population and i'm going to find the arithmetic mean from this entire population so you can see that there are no uh, as such differences between the numerical computations but let's try now this is i will denote it by mu the only difference will be in its notations it will be It will be mu is equal to uh, in simple words if i add them all it will give me 70 and the number of observations are 14. so in simple words mu is equal to five so this is population arithmetic mean similarly if i'm computing if I'm computing sample arithmetic mean, suppose I'm taking six units from the entire population, starting from nine and up to seven. For example, if I'm taking this as a sample and I'm going to uh, compute the arithmetic mean from this sample. This entire is population, a sub part is a sample. So in this sample, there are six units. So if I'm going to uh, compute the arithmetic mean from this sample so the notational differences will be over here like uh, over here it's mu and in sample arithmetic mean the notation would be x bar this is the only difference 
Mm, there is no other difference. Okay. Mm. Uh, X bar will be its notation, and the, these are six observations. And the sum of these six observations is uh, 29. And is there are six, six observations, so I have to divide it by six. So I'll divide it by six, and if I divide it, I will get 4 fine air 3. So this is the sample arithmetic mean. This is sample arithmetic mean, and this is population arithmetic mean. Hello dear viewers, I am Khan Bahadur, Assistant Professor of Statistics and you are watching a video from my YouTube channel Statistics by Khan. Dear viewers, I hope all of you will be doing great. Dear viewers, this YouTube channel Statistics by Khan has been created for basic statistics with a view to help the beginner students of statistics, the researchers of all fields and other learners of basic statistics. I have also a Facebook page and group with the same name Statistics by Khan. You can visit them for steps related to basic statistics. Dear viewers, for better understanding of concepts in my video, I would recommend you to watch the full video. After watching the full video, I assure you, you will understand the concepts very clearly.